everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Reaction Therapy. I'm your resident psychotherapist, Tom Stevens, here to break down lyrics to some awesome music. And today it's another one from Ren, The Tale of Jenny and Screech. I can't wait to hear what it's got. You know our purpose, spread mental health awareness to the world through music and lyrics. If you want more Reaction Therapy, go to our Patreon page or YouTube. There are memberships there. And please, above all, go to our new podcast channel on YouTube, the Reaction Therapy Podcast. I'll subscribe today. We have artist interviews, mental health topic breakdowns, so much more. But without further ado, all right, it's more Ren. Let's see if I can get my brain together. The tale of Jenny and Screech. Mmm. Ah. Just say I am super jealous. You know, I've had a commitment since. Christmas this year to learn the guitar in 2023. My fingers right now have calluses on them. I've practiced steadily multiple times a week. And I'm trying to learn fingers, where they go, the chords. And I'm sitting here watching him just go at it with his fingers just going everywhere. So jealous. Quiet dark night in an empty street Somewhere at London City Jenny walked alone, she was dragging her feet She was heading back home to sleep Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor Because she walked it about a thousand times before She wanted to escape Can you blame? Well, on the very same night in the Isn't it beautiful how he just combines the talking Just talking his way through it Versus the rapping, versus singing and all the while, just playing the guitar so well. I would love to know where this is. When I see these tiny streets, I just love that. It seems like a European or a German town or something, but this is pretty cool. Where is this? Here we go. Can you play? Well, on the very same night, in a different place, there was this hooded young youth by the name of James. He was 14 years old, and out of his brain, he'd been smoking ganja with the boys. James, he grew up to be a kid of the street. His mates called him Screech, he was quick on his feet. He was a liar, a thief, but 14 years old, the devil had set his sights on his soul. As Jenny walked home all along, she felt scared. Usually she was alright, but it was like there was something in the air. A divine intervention telling her to beware. Maybe intuition bogging her and making her so scared. Siren sounded in the distance at the beat of... Yeah. Intuition, though, can be a really good protective thing sometimes. You know, it is something that helps us feel like... It doesn't seem quite right. You know, she's just walking home along the street. It already feels unsafe already. And then there's James, who is Screech who has the devil coming after his soul. Are these two going to meet? Uh, maybe intuition bogging her and making her so scared. Sirens sound in the distance at the beat of Jenny's feet. A symphony of the night that echoes crime on London streets. Jenny turns a corner, their eyes they meet. Our poor girl Jenny, a boy named Screech. Give me all your money, bitch, give it to me. Uh. If you cooperate, then you'll soon be free. I want your purse, your phone, don't fucking look at me. I mean it, bitch, are you listening to me? Jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite Fear like liquid nitrogen in the dark night She tried to find strength to move But stayed as still as a statue in high-heeled shoes What the hell are you playing at? You playing games with me? I swear to fucking God I'll slice the rosy off your cheeks You think I don't mean it, girl? You don't know me? The last thing you see will be a boy called Screech reach with the sheep that the blade mm. with the teeth that could bite through steel and slice concrete and he swung possessed with the devil in his chest and the statue she was turned to butter in her breath. She really puts so much in. Just coming right off the top, just how they do that's just artistry the way they do that. But I, I think the thing I like best about this so far is how he shows the emotion of each person in the way that he sings or raps. Like you hear it in his voice, 
Jenny's feeling, you hear Screech's feeling, you hear the intensity of the moment, and then all of a sudden he gets quiet and just kind of talks his way through it. It's amazing how it goes back and forth. Stop. She, she was turned to butter in her breath. It was a quiet dark night in an empty street somewhere at Nanta City. Jenny lay still on the cold concrete. She's found somewhere to sleep. Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor Cause she'd walked it about a thousand times before I guess that she escaped It's such a shame mm. That was really good, that high-pitched voice he's got, really sweet And to think of these two meeting where Screech is coming after her. She's frozen in the middle of seeing him. I don't even know what ended up happening between the two of them. Is that, is that what we're going to find out next? Hmm. Wow, so he goes from one to the other. Jenny Screech. The, the murals here, the the paintings on the wall are incredible. And especially the way that he can just make the guitar intro everything. And he can just play and play. Like, this is a song. This is one of those you could sit and just listen to. Like, you don't need to stop. But just let it go. Let the whole thing play. A story, it starts right to the end. Heard the life of poor Jenny Clocked out like Big Ben Dear Screech, dear boy Where did he go? He melted into the black night Just like snow Patrick, man, let me in, please open the door. I think I fucked up, Patrick. Really fucked up, man. I'm not sure. I got crazy, left this lady lying still on the floor. Oh, I think I killed her, Patrick. Come on, man, I can't knock no more. But Screech kept on knocking till his knuckles became sore. But there's no sign of Patrick down at number 54. No refuge for our villain, for the bitter hands of fate. With something far more sinister in mind that does away. Always wonder, I'm sitting here wondering what in the world is going to happen next. Screech ends up taking Jenny out, knocking on the door of Patrick, trying to figure out, I need help, man. I am stuck. I don't think this went down good. And now he's got his phone out. Hey, babe, are you in? No, nothing really. I'm just a bit tired. Listen, can I swing around yours for a few moments? I just really miss you, babe. What the fuck do you mean you're busy? You fucking bitch! For fuck's sakes! Siren sounds approaching like a banshee in the night. The shrill cry of justice cutting like the sharpest knife. But Screech was never one to run, not one to miss a fight. One hand upon his blade, he turned to face the blue lights. Come on then, you fucking cunts, let's fucking have you then. I am Screech, I'm the boss, I'm the ender of men. You think that uniform you're wearing means that you own these streets? These are my fucking streets, and they call me fucking Screech. Richard was an officer who stood at six foot three Working London on the night shift What he didn't think he'd see Was a boy running at him like an animal possessed With no time to hesitate He fired four bullets at Screech's chest
Whoa. Oh, you see the camera work? How he just fell to the ground, pointing the guitar at him, firing the bullet shot thing there with hitting the guitar and then down to the ground. The effects, incredible how they shot this video and how well thought out ahead of time. Everybody's involved. Now there's Richard, who's a police officer, who's the one who shot, and he's a part of it. Our story it ends right to the start. Mm. Young Screech and poor Jenny lying one street apart. An officer shaken by the boy that he claimed Two bodies lay lifeless mm. And it's such a shame It's such a shame Two lifeless bodies now which, you know, I'm assuming is Screech and Jenny, right? And man, each story is ending. Hmm. Pilot. to do that incredible like i don't know like how much practice it takes to do that but his versatility of what he can do singing instrumentally rapping performing He can really show with the visual of his body, the body language. When you talk about mental health, you talk about, you know, what goes on in our minds and how we cope and compensate wherever he is and whatever he's singing about or whoever he's singing about. It's like he takes on that persona of who that person is or what's going on. And right now, just him opening his eyes and looking around like that and just uh, making that sound, it gives you the feeling of exactly what he's going through. Far from pretty, two zero zero five. A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive. Rhythmic beeps and blood stains. She saw a lady weep. She's tired and frail. To set the scene, we must rewind the hands of time for Violet's tale. Mm. Silent girl grew up with violent starts Her mother was a drinker and her father was a bastard Every night he took a tie but never left the room I'll spare you with the things he did, I'm sure her mother knew Violet was a silent girl, she moved out That's something how he's out in these just all white walls 
Like it's in this unit where it's like, you can't even tell where you are anymore. And then the singing is, is um, echoed there because he's in a hallway and it just makes it all sound good. And here's Violet, who's got a horrible upbringing from her family and she's, oh, it's about to happen. 16, a semi detached council flat, paid for by a welfare scheme. Packing shelves at Tesco, stacking jars like pickled bricks. She met a boy named Stevie and he was a little prick. Violet was a silent girl and Violet, she fell fast. See, Stevie was a wrong and the Violet, why are you always so quiet? On her bedroom door and he's irate He's been drinking and smoking, he's up late And he stands by her bedside, she shakes But her eyes stay shut So scary the way he, and eerie the way he speaks it Knocks on doors and replays that situation Like you're there for the first time And here comes Stevie coming in on Violet And she is like just, man, beaten, bruised Not good oh. And he's up late and he stands by her bedside she shakes but her eyes stay shut you fucking slut i know you're up and he pinches her eyelids and folds them up violet why are you lying to me violet she stays silent things turn violent that's the sound of his fists when they fall like a crashing pilot Hit like hailstones, one to the collarbone, full force, full blown, blood splat, bone crack, knick knack, paddy whack, one to the jaw and the tooth spat, detached, fist connects and disconnects a bone. A quick deflect to misdirect the blow, but nonetheless his punches met her throat. Such a mess he's left the bruised and broke. Violet, why are you always so silent, Violet? Why are you such a little liar, Violet? Do you think I want to do this, Violet? In character, she stays silent. Well, say something, Violet! Silence. Fucking say something, Violet! Silence. Wait. Say something, Violet. Not one word. She stays quiet. London city, far from pretty, two, zero. Oh, it's so uncomfortable. This is the hardest one to watch by far at this point. Just knowing he started that in the hospital where a girl was fighting for her life, which I'm assuming was Violet. And the way he played both parts and how Stevie was just crazy with, you know, almost like excusing away what he was doing, which, you know, you know, I can't stand any domestic violence or abuse or anything like that. There's just no reason for it. And she's just stuck in a situation where she can't defend herself there. And he is just letting her have it. And then there's no words brought to the hospital. Zero five, a lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive. The doctor in a state of shock saw something here so very wrong. See Violet, she was pregnant, poor Violet. She was nine months gone Turning to the doctor Violet broke her silence And she cried If I'm to die Right here tonight Please let my baby stay alive The doctor soon regained composure Called the surgeon to come in As Violet's world turned to black The curtains closed The lights went dim In London City Far from pretty Two zero zero five A lady down in Paddington just lost the fight to stay alive A tragedy or a miracle It happened on these very streets Two twins aligned side by side A girl named Jenny And a boy named Screech The Tale of Jenny and Screech by Wren. Wow, this was so much to take in.
like a novel and you see that movie play out and how sad to see their lives when they collide meet and what happens between the two. Um, boy, I don't even know what to say because I really struggle with toxic relationships. I struggle. I mean, I work with it every day, but it's really hard for me because I want people to have boundaries. I want them to believe in themselves and I want them to not end up in situations where they are treated this way. But many people have that growing up in life and they're used to that. And it's a relationship that they pick again and just know you can always get out and ask for help. Help is there. It does matter when you get good help because you have somebody that can back you up, support you and get you. And then we see she's pregnant and a baby. Oh goodness. It's just a lot to take in, but wow, what amazing artistry and the way he picks his words, the way he raps, sings, and talks at the same time, the way he puts the inflection and the body language of all people to help you feel what every single character is feeling at every minute. Well done. Remember, sitting real there, be just Tom breaking down lyrics to music. If you want professional help, check the link in the description of this video. Go to our Discord server. Give us your comments, feedback, insight. Go subscribe now to the Reaction Therapy Podcast channel on YouTube. And if you want more content, Go to our Patreon page or YouTube. Memberships are there for you. I'm telling you, you don't want to miss that. Thanks for helping us spread mental health awareness to the world. We'll see you on the next Reaction Therapy. Action.